Hello everyone, welcome back. I am a gaming quitter, the most delicious quitter of them all. You may have seen my top 5 waifus in Trigaya last video, where I talked about the, in my opinion, best waifus in my favorite gacha game. To balance things out a bit, I have now prepared a new top 5 list for you. This time, we'll talk about the top 5 husbands or husbandos in Trigaria Lost. As previously, we do have some rules for this list. The entries are only based on design and story, not on the gameplay or meta. There are no NPC characters, only summonable units that are available as I'm recording this video. And also, no alt versions are factored into this list, it's just about the base art and the base units. If you like this video, please remember to like and subscribe for more Trigaya Lost content. Also, tell me in the comments who your favorite husband or intro girl lost is. And with that, let's get on with the show, shall we? Number 5. Norwin. A traveling picture book author who loves reading stories to children. Despite his best efforts, though, all of his stories have bad endings. What sort of past trauma could be responsible? The first husband on this list is someone who hasn't appeared much in stories and in-game. Sadly, he's not a very good character to use right now, but that doesn't mean he couldn't be a good husband. He's a very creative guy who writes his own stories and draws his own picture books. Sadly, when it comes to ending these stories, he's a bit... awful? For example, he ends one of his stories by having the princess being eaten by a fiend. Like, usually fairy tales don't end like this. Except for the old Brothers Grimm stories, which usually ended in a similar, awful way. No, I'm not talking about the movie, which was also extremely awful. But, like for example, the story about Max and Moritz. I have no idea if you guys know about the Max and Moritz story. Um, but in the end, both get killed and turned into food. And then they get eaten by two chickens. Happy end! Yay! <laughs> Well, my parents read this story to me a lot when I was a child and it may have messed me up for a lifetime, I don't know, but yeah. In the end, Norwin is able to overcome his problems by retelling the adventures of the prince, Juden. Sadly, Norwin himself hasn't appeared in any worm prince so far, which should change ASAP, side games. He's only appeared in two Trogea Alive comics. I know that side games can't put every single character into the spotlight, but Norman's design is just too good to let him be forgotten so easily. Number 4 Wait, no, Renzel, get out of here. You're not on my top 5 husbands list, I'm sorry. You're cool, but you're more like a bro. Come on, go. Shush, go, go. Number 4 Dorand Known widely as the Mad Dog of Valkaheim, he leads a resistance group in a city. He can take a while to warm up to new people, but once earned, his trust is deep indeed. I love me some edgy boys that act super tough, but are actually super nice deep inside. Dorand is from Valkaheim, a city where the strong reigned supreme, and to survive, he had to lead a rough life. His two wolves helped him out though, so you could say, <laughs> it's a rough life. <laughs> Am I right, guys? <laughs> <clears throat> so he's appeared in one worm print so far, the Howling to the Heavens print. It's an awesome looking print that shows him working together with his crew, the Kroor Hounds. I don't know how you pronounce it, but his wolves don't have any names. At least until Laranora names them in a Tragaria life story, and they turn into cute little puppies. He's appeared in two Tragaria life stories, and the other one shows just how much love he has for his wolves, and he washes them very, very carefully. I've been using his biting revenge skill on my Chrom for some time now, since that makes his Awakened Eater way stronger. I've hit 800k on just one critical hit with him. I know I didn't want to talk about gameplay, but don't sleep on my boy Durant. Although I wouldn't mind sleeping on him. Number 3. Orsum. A young man from a northern land of ice and snow. The blades in his shoes house ice mana that freezes the ground before him, allowing him to display his immaculate skating ability. 
he seeks to spread word of his beloved hobby to all. I remember seeing Orsam on the Dueling Dances Worm vid when the game released and immediately liking his design. At that point, he wasn't in the game as a playable character yet though. He released on October 4th, 2018 as a 4 star unit. And honestly, he's kinda hot. Yeah, he's a Sylvan and if you remember my last top 5 video, you know, bunny ears are very important and a very good thing, just like with Norwin. Another plus for him, he's showing us his belly button and it's kinda hot. And yeah, well, <laughs> the fang. Hashtag fang gang. He's been in three Tregeo Live comics so far and has appeared in one castle story. His whole thing is the fact that he's able to skate on ice everywhere thanks to his special shoes. I love the fact that he wants to make people happy with his hobby and wants to spread his joy around the world. He also seems to be a big klutz honestly because apparently he loses his stuff all the time according to one Tregeo Live comic. He has appeared in several stories by now and I really hope he gets an alt version in the future. Maybe a Christmas alt would be fitting. I also kinda wanna see him make Dragon Skate, because in one of his home screen voice lines, he's saying he's designed skates for dragons. Kinda makes you wonder what that would look like. Just imagine Midgar Summer skating around in a halidom. Number two. Ugh, come on, Renzel. No, bad Renzel, bad. Shush, shush, shush. You only appear at the end of the video for the end card. Go sit in the corner, think about what you've done. Bad dog. I mean, bad bro. Whatever. Number 2. Fritz. A dagger wielder from a circus troupe. Although he wows crowds with his dazzling blade skills, he also carries a shadow of his past with him. In both battle and life, he lives by a performer's code of letting no prey escape. I didn't put Annalie on my top 5 waifu list and I still feel bad for that. So I have to make up for that by putting Fritz on my top 5 husband list. His design is really cool and honestly he's handsome AF. His backstory is also very charming. He used to be a criminal who is now using his skills with a dagger by entertaining people. He also wants to do everything he can to support the circus that Annalie has been putting a lot of work into. So far he's appeared in 5 Trogea Lost stories and 1 Castle story. In one of the Tregeia life stories, he wants Juden to touch his balls. His soft balls. Because he doesn't want Juden to touch Emily's toys. As you can see, Juden totally loves doing that. Fritz appeared in two worm prints so far and both are beautiful. The stellar showprint show shows him throwing daggers around and, well, he's just looking cool by doing so. On the dazzling duet print you can see Fritz together with Vixel. And guys, I'll be completely honest with you, I ship them. I ship them so hard. Look at the refined vestige version of the Dazzling Dwarven print. They are both so gosh darn handsome. And let me just read a part of the print description which you totally cannot read in any sexual way. Nuh uh. You're pretty good with that poker, friend. This, this is just for a little self defense. Certainly no match for your dagger skills. Ha! Huh. Don't go setting high expectations I can't possibly meet now. Impressive. Your dagger skills make me want to try conducting you. Give it a shot with that sword. Very well. Now let us work together to create a symphony of victory. <laughs> Gosh, sorry, I got a bit lost there. Um, let's go on. Before we get to number one, I want to mention some characters that didn't make the list, but still need to be mentioned. For example, Sander. Make way for our king! He's a dork, but he's just one that cares deeply for his people. Especially his Christmas all shows how much he cares for other people. His attitude may be a bit too much sometimes, but he's a very good guy all around. Valerio? He's just freaking hot, okay? Saint Freed. Dragon Daddy. I've recently read his story after finally getting him and it's so cute how much he cares for his baby dragons. Albert, I just want him to massage me with his lightning bolts. And well, Heinwald, because I just couldn't put both of them on this list. Yes, you've heard correctly, it's time for number one, Curran, an inquisitor of the Ilian church. He acts tough 
but is actually quite empathetic. An incident in his past led him to believe nothing is solved by merely punishing heretics, so he instead looks for proof his targets aren't heretical at all. So I'm straight, but if I'd ever have to marry a guy, I'd want it to be someone like Karen. He's thoughtful of others, doesn't take everything at face value, and he cares about the people he loves. Curran appeared in a lot of stories so far, even in other characters' adventure stories. He's with the Ilian Church and hunts heretics, but he's different from other members of the church and looks for proof before reaching a conclusion. He also takes care of Lafna, who's basically an eldritch god in disguise and all hail Cthulhu! Oh my. Curran appeared in three worm prints so far, The Partners in Truth print, Fleeting Girl and Ilian Faithful. He also appeared in two castle stories and five Tragea Life comics. It seems like Curran isn't just my personal top husbando, but also a favorite of Psy Games. One of my favorite quirks about Curran is the fact that he messes up names and phrases. For example, in one comic he wants to summon Nyal... Nyal... La, to, to, I, I can't even name it, pronounce it myself. Nyal... Totep, I think. And he just calls for him as Gnarly Toastep. I mean, on, it's a really difficult name, so we can't really blame him for that. It's such a big thing that he messes up names and phrases that Lafna actually waits for him to mess things up again. And let's not forget about his best moment where he said Buttholder instead of Beholder. His reasons for messing up the words, by the way, is just him wanting to look cool for others, but by doing so he's stumbling over his own, own words. And it's cute. He's pictured a lot with Heinwald because there are partners in crime, and we don't know the whole truth about Heinwald yet and what he's actually about, and sadly I haven't summoned him yet so I don't know what his actual story is. So I pondered if I should put both of them on the list, but in the end I decided to just keep Curran as number one. They do make a very funny pair and I kinda hope we get to see another event with them, or maybe even new alt versions. And that's it! Thank you so much for watching, I hope you enjoyed my personal top 5 husbando list, and if you disagree with me, please comment below on who your favorite husbando is. Also, subscribe for more Trigale-ass content. I don't only make top 5 videos, but I also post stuff about new events, updates, simple boss fight videos, and I will also upload summoning videos whenever I decide to summon. So please, side games, give me a reason to summon, aka please give me a Chelsea alt right now. I want to spend my vermite, please. So, thank you very much, and see you in the next video. Bye!